Hello everyone, warm welcome back to you. This is Sage and you are watching Market Movers by Calcon TV. The S&P ASX 200 is lower today, dropping 27.70 points or 0.39% to 7037.90 after scaling a fresh 52 week high. Nine of the 11 sectors are trading in the red, while telecommunications and consumer discretionary are the only two sectors that are in black. Consumer staples and industrials are the worst performing sectors with cuts over 0.45%. RBA minutes reveal an optimistic stance on economic recovery. As per the RBA minutes, Australia is expected to continue its strong economic recovery in 2021 as well. The board of the central bank observed that housing prices had increased significantly in recent months, buoyed primarily by the demand coming from first-time home buyers. According to the RBA, the low interest rates prevailing in the country after the economic contraction last year have been one of the primary drivers contributing to the increased home demand. The central bank has pegged the annualised growth in housing credit at about 4.5% in the past six months until February 2021. The RBA also seems to be optimistic about the resilience of the Australian banks as it believes that strong profitability of these banks in the pre-pandemic era had enhanced their capital base. Let us now look at a few shares that are moving the market today. Bank of Queensland gains as MS upgrades to overweight, lifts earnings estimates. The share price of the stock Bank of Queensland Limited gained as much as 2.24% to $9.11 Australian per share as the Morgan Stanley has upgraded the company to overweight from equal weight. As per Affinitiv, MS has also increased the price target to 10 Australian dollars up from 9 dollars 60 Australian per share and this has come on the back of a supportive operating environment, improved franchise momentum and excess provisions and capital. Rio Tinto's iron ore output falls. Mediocre quarter disappoints the RBC. Rio Tinto Limited's first quarter results come in lower than brokerage's expectations. Rio's first quarter iron ore production has fallen 2% from the same period last year as wet weather and labour shortages impact its mine and port operations in Western Australia. The RBC says figures show a mediocre quarter from Rio as the challenges drove a 6% miss to broker's iron ore production forecasts. Rio's iron ore shipments for the quarter were quoted at 77.8 million tonnes, lower than City's forecast of 83.7 million tonnes. And meanwhile, the stock is trading flat at $120.68 per share, down 0.141%. Ketone Dairy Corp rises as much as 25.7% to 0.22 Australian dollars, hitting its highest since the 3rd of March. The stock posts its biggest intraday percentage gain since the 25th of March. Nearly 9 million shares changed hands compared with a 30-day average volume of about 570,000. The dairy processor po posts the financial year 2021 group sales at 50.7 million Australian dollars versus 39.51 million Australian dollars up 125% from the prior year, despite disruptions caused by the COVID-19 pandemic. KTD says all business divisions grew substantially, including Australia Contract Manufacturing, New Zealand Dairy and its brands division. Now, here are some shares that were under pressure in today's trade. Linus were in deep red with cuts of approximately 8% to 5885 Australian dollars after the company announced quarterly reports. The company saw a drop of approximately 8% in sales and sales volume of rare earth oxides slipped 23.4% from the second quarter, partly due to the Suez Canal blockage in March. A giant container ship had become jammed diagonally across the southern section of the Suez Canal on the March 23rd, disrupting shipping activity for almost a week. LYC says it also faced difficulties to secure shipments as fewer ships were available due to the pandemic. 
Seven Group falls the most in six months on discounted share placement. The share price of Seven Group Holdings Limited declined as much as 4.54% to 22.365 Australian dollars in their biggest intraday percentage loss since October 2020. The company has raised 500 million Australian dollars via placement of 22.2 million shares. The shares will be issued at 22.5 Australian dollars per share, a 4% discount to SVW's last close of 23.43 Australian dollars on Fridays. And well, that is all for now. And do thank you for watching Calkine TV. And this is Sage signing off.